polity is well it's uh, it's the study of shapes but it's the study the geometry is the study somehow of, of rigid shapes somehow triangles where you measure their lengths and their area and the the angles the way i would say it like this is in geometry you would assign quantitative information to to objects their length their areas things like that topology is the study of shapes where you kind of allow them to to move and consider them the same if you can deform one onto the others in topology uh, you have kind of more abstract informations that you would associate to them in both cases what's most interesting to mathematicians are higher dimensional objects which we can kind of not directly see but we have to probe them using other tools yeah so somehow it's true that what i do involves both topology and analysis. Analysis is, well, the sort of things that one does in a calculus class, which of course is everybody's fondest memory. Um, you know, analysis is you do, you kind of quantify things, you try, it's about really kind of measuring areas, measuring lengths, that's what analysis is about. And so the odd thing for in topology is that, you know, the original point of view is indeed we're going to study these shapes up to deformations, we're not going to worry about their lengths, we're not going to worry about angles. Nonetheless, it's useful to um, to impose some additional structure, to kind of say, well, this, this is a space, I'm only going to think about a shape. Nonetheless, I will first pick some, pick some choices, make it rigid, and then obtain some information about it this way, and then show that it was independent of the way that I made, made it rigid. So that's somehow the role that analysis plays in this, in at least my field. Well, if you have a one-dimensional shape or a two-dimensional shape, you can kind of stand outside of it and look look at it from the outside. Maybe it's a three-dimensional thing, then, well, we live in three dimensions, so even though we can't see what's behind us, we can still kind of remember it and try to kind of position it relative to what we see right now. For higher dimensional things, the only tools we have is you kind of can try to probe these higher dimensional things using two-dimensional things or one-dimensional things. That's actually what I do somehow. Take two-dimensional things with surfaces and take maps from surfaces to higher dimensions. And that's the essential tool that we have for understanding higher dimensions.